With the battle stretching over miles of sky, the experienced pilots try to attack with the sun behind them. Less experienced pilots make the mistake of using clouds as cover. Now, an odd property of clouds is when you're sitting above a cloud looking down into it, you can see an airplane climbing up out of the cloud for the last 500 feet of its climb before he comes out of it. But if you're the one in the cloud, you can't see a blind thing until you're totally clear of the cloud. key to fighting in the dogfight was if you flew in a straight line for more than 15 seconds you'd have had it so you had to keep turning to prevent someone getting behind you as wave after wave of bombers attack the docks everything on the ground below is pulverized i was actually underneath that radar on the docks because we didn't have time to get to altitude and i was just underneath i could go out of the wave because i could see the bombs dropping and I saw the whole docks explode. It was quite a horrifying sight. But for Churchill's few, the legacy of those who did not survive will remain forever. They deserve all respect you can give them. That I'm sure of. Hitler and Goering have committed a huge blunder by not gaining mastery of the skies. By leaving Britain undefeated, they have left a nation able to provide the rallying cry for freedom. The Battle of Britain was the beginning of the strategic defeat of the Germans as they charge off into the Soviet Union without the resources they need in order to win.